From the footy oval to the baseball diamond, the showdown has a new home. Four Crows players, four Port players, each get 10 hits. Your furthest hit goes to the team score, highest team score wins in the 3D Surveys Home Run Derby. Brody Smith starting it off for the Crows and he cranks one right off the bat, 87 meters, quick start there. That's an effortless swing from Smith right there. This one not quite as strong but still gets it to the outfield and of course a quick SA Power Networks foul ball before Smith just cranks one. Center field, 90 meters, quick start for the Crows. They score 90 in the first round. Bar set high for the Port Adelaide Power as Tom Clurie steps up to the dish. He can play in front of 50,000 people at Adelaide Oval, but can he hit a baseball far? The answer, yeah, probably not. 78 meters, just a mediocre start for Glory, and the struggles continue. Gets the ground ball, probably a double play in baseball terms before he fouls one off. Glory feeling the heat. Could he step up? Eh, small hit. Getting a bit better, but Clurry, of course, digs in and comes through in the clutch. Goes straight, dead, straight, center field, 93 meters. He can't do better than that, can he? Surely. There's no chance at all, but no. Yes, sir. That one is back just at the wall, 109 meters, giving Port a 19-meter advantage after round one. And as round two begins, Mitch Grigg comes to the plate. A confident strut from the young man, but could he handle the pressure? First ball, Mitch Grigg, his swing is just candy. That thing is sweet, 91 meters left field, getting a good total for the Adelaide Crows on the board. But next hit, having a few struggles, just can't quite make contact. And with Andrew Scott at the plate, he unloads one, 99 meters. This one is back. It's a pretty good total and puts the Crows up by 80. Pressure on for Jasper Pittard, down 80, but he should have absolutely no problem at all. First hit, oh, call him Edward Snowden because that was a hack. Just can't quite figure it out. And finally, he laces one a whole 78 meters. Well done, Jasper. And the umpire calls play on as that ball definitely did not travel 15 meters. Struggling times though for Jasper Pittard as he laces one about 15 meters on that one and then almost kills our pitcher, Andrew Scott. Jasper Pittard struggling, only puts up 78, but it still moves Port within two points. And here he comes, the kid, Cameron Ellis Yeoman, looking to extend the lead. Would he do it? Never trust a guy with a half and name, and you certainly can't trust him with a baseball bat here. No, certainly not. That was a swing with a bigger miss than Pixels at the box office. Cameron Andrew Scott struggling. is throwing some heat. I'm not surprised with his 50 mile an hour fastballs that Scott is rifling in there. But wait, hold this press. Look at this one. This one is gone 110 meters. That's the furthest. And then he does it again. Scotty shocked. That's 112 meters and the farthest hit to date. And that might just be an insurmountable lead for Port Adelaide. But Cam O'Shea ready to step in and ready to figure it out with Port Adelaide falling behind and uh, Boy. Fiji behind the plate there struggling. Uh, super pitcher for the Adelaide Bart in the past, but yeah, certainly not comfortable with a catcher's bit. Maybe 40 years old, but doesn't look a day older than 65. And finally, Cam O'Shea gets a hold of this one. This one goes 97 meters to deep left field. A good effort here, and there's a ground hit. Might get you on base in baseball, but doesn't help you much in a home run derby. Port down 17, heading into the final round. Last round for the Crows, and in steps former baseball player Charlie Cameron. Represented Queensland in uh, junior baseball, so there's no doubt that Charlie's gonna have a really successful time up here. And that's a baseballer swing, 98 meters to start off the round. Port, if they weren't scared before, should be scared now. And how about this strike? Takes a ball in a home run derby? Who does this kid think he is? Well. Ground ball, that's a that's a double play ball. That's probably why he doesn't play baseball anymore. But Charlie Cameron He's trying to finish strong. Swinging hard here, swinging real hard. Really wants to get the Crows at lead against Port. Needs a big one to finish off, and Charlie Cameron does not disappoint. This one is back and just short of the wall, 107 meters. It's a 124 meter lead. And who's up finally for the Port Adelaide Power? Travis Head? Adelaide striker, superstar, and Redback captain Travis Head walking in and 
Look at that grip. Super cricket style there. Yeah, maybe he should stick to cricket. They need a home run, and they're looking in big trouble right now. Home run wins it for Travis Head, and he just can't handle the heat. Gets a little on top of that. But look at this. Travis Head points right to right field with a chance to Surely win it on not. the final ball. And oh my goodness, this one is gone. Way back, Scotty knows it, Port Adelaide knows it, and this 3D surveys home Dun run dear. is over. Travis Head, unbelievable. Finishing it for Port Adelaide, fantastic effort. Port Adelaide defeat the Crows. Sam here from the Adelaide Bite ba ba Baseball Club with Cam Ellishon from the Crows. And Cam, unfortunately the Crows didn't quite up, get up in that home run derby, but you crushed the ball 112 metres, mate. Great effort. Yeah, no, I was just pretty lucky. A bit of help from uh, Charlie Cameron helped me with it, and he told me the, which bat to use, so I guess that helped me. I'm with Jasper Pittard after participating in the 3D Surveys home run derby. And Jasper, first time, I mean, getting out here for the bite, and how did it feel out there? Yeah, I was a little bit nervous at the start. Um, haven't really done anything other than T-ball back in about grade six. So um, when uh, Tommy Cleary hit that nice 110 metre at the start, I felt a bit better. The nerves were settled, but um, it was nice to have Hedy added to the team late as well to get us to win.